Hey folks, this is IOE Thrower. We're back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Alex the Assassin in his Panzer 1C. And I thought this would be a nice special game for Friday. Um, I'm going to try and do the Fan Pick Fridays again as soon as I remember to actually set it up and get you guys the link. So look for that link. Um, maybe not in this video, but in tomorrow's video, definitely. And yeah. So of course, this is the Tier 3 German light tank it's also one of the ones that, that um, seal covers like to use it's a fun little tank you'll see why in a second now we're gonna pause this while I continue talking because there's other things that need to get talked about first off if I, I, my seat shirt goes see-through at any point in time I'm sorry that's because the green screen is is actually a blue screen and this is actually a blue shirt but it looked good enough when I first set up the camera that I thought maybe it would go F perfectly fine second thing is if you want to support the channel then um, you guys will want to check out these guys these guys are the, the sleek supply codes um, dark chocolate watch which I have been using for quite some time quite quite enjoy this thing I love it wear it all the time if it's not on me it, I feel like something is definitely weird and wrong um, and it's sleek versatile water resistant and beautiful um, and there's a coupon code for 20% off in the description below that'll if you use that then the company will send me $20 which would be nice they can buy a real green screen and stop using a blue screen um, oh look a locust let's concentrate on the game as we get into it looks like he is in fact gonna unload into the locust he goes full auto on this poor guy and takes him out of the game in one clip and then hides behind <laughs> the destructible cover so it takes the one shell he would have taken otherwise he regoes and it looks like he's unloading into this chai, chai ha uh, a lot of those shells bounced more than he wanted to but enough of them went through that he got it done oh I forgot Epsies, my bad that was totally unprofessional and um, one of the things I definitely forgot to change before I started the game my bad Nobody saw anything, right? So, we'll have this game. I'm not going to be able to comment on what's going on because it's just going to happen so fast. You can see he is trying to get da shots down into this M2 medium. You can use this spot in any game you want, whether you're in a tier 10 game or a tier 3 game. This spot is always um, a powerful location to be in, assuming you do so by surprise and you make sure there aren't too many enemies that can shoot at you or and or they, those enemies have already fired but at tier 3 you're gonna end up with somebody unloading into you like Alex just had right there if you poke it from this spot uh, either of those spots too much now using the, these bushes for cover he's gonna pop in here looks like he's trying to get a bead on the enemy Panzer 1C Wakes till he see, sees green, doesn't actually end up seeing any green. So he just aims back in on the T. <laughs> T46. You see him unload the entire clip, even though he didn't really need to. He does, in fact, do that. Um, mostly because some people at this tier don't know how to reload the clip. It's also sometimes faster just to run the clip out rather than. Uh, trying to find the reload button depending on what the reload button is for you for me it's R for you it will be something different wow that T2 I wonder how much damage that T2 has just blocked right there not too many of those shots actually went in though all of them hit obviously and now Alex is asking for assistance because he knows he needs it if he lets this D2 come around, he's gonna have problems. And yeah, he's just gonna, in fact, back off and let the D2 have its way for a little bit. And yeah, his team's saying we can win this, and, and yes, yes, you can definitely win. That was a nice spin. I enjoyed that spin. So he's basically just baiting. Now the Panzer 1C is going so fast, auto aim is not gonna help until it slows down. So he, f he in fact waits for it to kill the Mar Martyr 2 so that it will stop moving and he can actually kill it. And once he's killed it, now there's only the D2 left. 
And at D2, he cannot take on from the front. He needs to circle this thing. So he's using the speed from the downhill, and he's going to get around and try and hit from behind. In the meantime, there's a Type 91 and a Stewart. Looks like a Stewart. It is a Stewart. At back at the enemy base, taking care of the enemy tank destroyers. Or one of them, anyway. Looks like the other one is, in fact, right here. It's a Pack 40. So these things are quite deadly, assuming you let them shoot you. And which is why he's trying not to let it shoot him. Now, after it's fired, it has no frontal armor, very little. So you're going to reload, and he, it shouldn't be able to see him much longer. So once he's finished reloading in a second, he's just going to pop out and unleash onto it. And that poor guy loses that fight. And that is the end of the game. Unfortunately, only seven kills. That sucks. But it was a great game. Mastery Badge, Ace Tanker, Hand of God, Bruiser, Duas, Fire Perfect, High Caliber, and Top Gun. Wow, good job, sir. Well played overall. How much damage? Oh, we can't see how much D2 blocked from the screen. Um, a thousand damage in a tier 3 tank is absolutely amazing. Seeing as 300 is about normal. These guys are about normal for this category. This tier. Uh huh. <laughs> Almost 1100 damage is just extraordinary. Good job. And as for our D2 friend, he in fact blocked <laughs> almost 400 damage and 49 hits. And that was all from us and a couple other people. <laughs> that was a good game. Thank you so much, Alex, for saying this in. I am just giggling, laughing this, or watching this. Yes, I'm laughing this. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing right now, obviously. Uh, made a little bit of money, but, I mean, uh, considering that's a quarter of what you spent, that was a lot of ammo you fired out there. And, I mean, anytime you fire 300 ammo, it's going to cost you some coin. So, overall, that was a great game. Thank you so much, Alex, for saying this in. This was a joy to watch and definitely something special for a Friday. And I will try and put up a vote for you guys for next Friday, but we'll see when that en ends up happening. In the meantime, again, if you guys want $20 off a watch, then go ahead and use the coupon code in the description below and um, go grab yourself a watch. I have the dark chocolate. Um, if that's your thing, then if you like my watch, then you know you can go grab that one. And if anybody decides to sign up for my Patreon for the um, the 6k damage club tier of the Patreon, then I will give you a watch for free. And uh, so yeah, thank you all for watching. Have a great night. This IO Ether out.